Paradise on Earth. Third time's the charm for the Hawks as they finally conquer the Wareham Gate, man. 8-4 is your final. It was a really fun game, a comeback effort from the Hawks as they trailed early 3-0, but were able to claw back, take the lead, and once they did, they never looked back. No, they didn't. Uh, it was really good offensive output, 12 hits in total for both teams. For Wareham, Wareham, just 12 singles. Didn't really work out too well for those guys. Eight runs on the board for Hyannis. The best output this season it really carried you, but also the bullpen. We talked about Alejandro Rosario, who was honorable mention for the player of the game. Had a great night tonight, along with Magdal Cotto and Wes Burton. But the bat of Mitch Jeb, too, along with the rest of that offense, just piece it all together. You can't ask for too much more. No, you really can't, Jeb. Three for four today, and he was our roll bump limited player of the game, and he's now with Brie Lawson. Alongside Mitch Jeb from Michigan State, our roll bump player of the game. Mitch, you went three for four, scoring one run, and you were in the leadoff spot for the first time today. What was it like being in that role? Uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. Um, I wish can stay at the lead off, so it's kind of the same thing here. Um, and I got a bunch it's of stuff <laughs> Not me, so that's good. Now, the Harbor Hawks have won two in a row. Is it safe to say that the Hawks are hot? Hawks are hot. Yeah. And how does it feel to be on that win streak? Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Mitch. Um, thank you, Bria. And of course, like we've mentioned, full team effort, Philip Matulia, his first homer out on Cape Cod, was part of that effort that put the gate men away and you have to mention the bullpen once again Rosario Cotto and of course Wes Burton his first strikeouts of the season of the summer as the shades are coming on and hey Hawks have won two in a row ahead of what is going to be a very happy homecoming for head coach Eric Beatty tomorrow night yeah, you know, first time seeing the Bourne Braves this season is going to be interesting to see how the Hawks come out there and attack. Yeah, I, I got you got to hope that starter Ty Good has been so solid this season, comes out with that 12-6 curveball, brings him back tomorrow, and the Harbor Hawks beat Bourne for a three-game win streak. They swept their last two games, and maybe they can keep on sweeping people. Well, the shades are on, and the Hawks are headed to Bourne once again. Eight for your final. It's a two-game winning streak for Hyannis. Signing off from... McKeon Park, Drake Toll, alongside myself, Zach Berman. Great day to be a Hawk. Mitch, Mitch, quick question here. How was the uh, playing conditions over on the third base side? Um, very today? good, very good. Uh, infield was very wet from uh, the soap crew out there, so I'm thankful for that, and uh, we'll get back at it tomorrow. Good deal. Go Hawks. This is Austin Strickland signing off with you.